We also have a question from uh, from Melody from Toronto. She asks how I feel my voice wanting to go into the to the whistle range, but I can't seem to bring it out and know I know that pushing won't do it. Can you share an exercise or a tip that will help my voice to move into my whistle? And, and she's absolutely right when she says pushing will not do it. Um, you can reverse phonate, which is sneaking up on your voice. I don't even know if I can do it, but I'm going to try. If I say, <laughs> that little squeak, all you have to do is reverse the airflow. Your chords are already in the shape they need to be to hit, hit the note. Uh, on most days, I can suck in and sing a C above high C, and then I reverse the airflow, and I'm usually about G or A. So sucking in kind of hits a reset button on the vocal cords to keep you from the opposite of pushing would be to blow, suck in, and pull those vocal cords back into position. So you no longer have sub or a subglottal below the glottis, below the which is the opening of the vocal cords, subglottal pressure, supra glottal pressure. It's above and it's pulling the cords down. So the vocal cords aren't used to feeling they're not used to feeling that. Then when you reverse the flow of air in the same sensation there's the whistle. And I, I'm not great in it right now because literally yesterday I could barely talk still. But first day back there's some whistle coming in. <clears throat> uh, but the most important thing is they have to think thin, and she's right. Don't push. The opposite of pushing is sucking in or using vocal fry, going, oh, here I am with no voice, still singing fairly high. 